I started my very own podcast. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Parmis. I make lifestyle, wellness, and fashion videos here on YouTube and on TikTok. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a weekend vlog, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me for everything that I'm gonna be doing this weekend. And to start off today, I'm gonna be heading to the mall to do a little bit of shopping. Before I head off to the mall, I'm gonna do a little bit of an OOTD. I'm wearing this jacket from Zara, this tube top from Aritzia. I'm doing these. Uh, I believe these are American, no sorry, these are garage jeans and then I'm doing my New Balance 327s with my Prada bag. That is my outfit and we're going to be heading to the mall now. First stop is Starbucks. Thank you. I got an iced Americano. I got a shaken espresso. Let me concentrate. I think she got a shaken espresso and then she has um, cinnamon on top and then I got shaken a... Shaken espresso with sugar-free vanilla. Sugar-free vanilla. Cinnamon. Woo! Cheers. Cheers. Um, I just wanted you guys to see Mel's outfit because it's really cute so she's going to give you guys an OOTD. <laughs> oh, am I? Yeah. <laughs> Tell them where your outfit's from. <laughs> Yeezy. <laughs> Lululemon. <laughs> shopping trip. Um, she got the mini Uggs. They didn't have the ultra minis, but I think the mini Uggs look better yeah, on her. The mini anyway. ones are nicer than the ultra ones. Yeah. Okay. They make your ankles look Oompa Loompa. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've seen people pull it off, but for me and her, like we have very similar yeah. body types. It just doesn't suit us. But yeah, we need to re-energize. We pretty much walked like 10 kilometers in the mall. The mall was huge. Got our steps. We're just heading to dinner now, so we will see you guys when we get there. They actually didn't have availability at the restaurant I wanted to go to, so we're at a bar. Um, <laughs> Why are you laughing? You're making me sweat. <laughs> we're not even drunk yet. We ordered truffle fries with espresso martini. Um, and then we're pretty dead. Two. Cheers! Good morning guys, it is now Saturday morning and I just got back from the salon. I didn't vlog it because I made a TikTok of it. I kind of have peanut butter on my nails right now, but I did end up getting a uh, chrome. This is what it looks like up close. Excuse my pale and dry hands, but um, it's like a pinkish, whitish chrome and I've never done it before, so it's very new for me. I think the reason it doesn't look as good is because of my skin tone. I'm very pale, so not the nicest, but I did want something natural before I started doing the fall colors, so it's all good. Today is actually my boyfriend's birthday, so we're going to be celebrating by doing a birthday dinner with all of his friends. I did end up getting his gift this morning, and I dropped it off, and he was really, really happy about it. I ended up getting him a PS5. I'm going to be going to one of the shops nearby to get a jar. I want to make my boyfriend a memory jar. I always do something sentimental, and then also like a uh, material gift. I feel like that's the best combination. Did end up getting a few things at the mall yesterday i'm going to show you what i got i'm in the kitchen now so welcome to my kitchen let's start off with zara first i got a jacket from zara which i'm still on the fence about i don't know if it's something i can style it's very oversized it is this ginormous kind of fluffy leather coat i'm gonna try it on for you guys it's insanely oversized. I don't know how I would style it. I feel like this would only look good with like either this jumpsuit, which is like still a little bit of an off brown compared to this or all black. It's comfy and cozy, but at the same time, I just, for $200, I don't know if it's worth keeping. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Okay, so from Sephora, I got my 
Banana Bride Ola Henriksen Eye Cream. This stuff is so great. It gets rid of my um, under eye dark circles and it just feels really, really good. I feel like it doesn't dry it out, um, but it still brightens with the vitamin C and it's still exfoliating. So this stuff is great. Here's a close up if you wanna take a screenshot and go ahead and purchase for yourself. Then I got the Necessaire Body Wash. I get the Eucalyptus um, scent and this stuff is amazing i feel like it's really good for my acne because it's got vitamin c e omega-6 9 and it's got a ph balance of five and a half to six and a half and it's just really gentle on my skin i really like it it's so refreshing and relaxing when you use it in the shower so love this stuff then i got my favorite mask in the entire world it's the laneige water sleeping mask um, this stuff is great if you need that extra hydration and because I told you guys I'm using the tretinoin and you know I'm purging and peeling everywhere this stuff really really helps minimize that it also does kind of brighten and soften up the skin as well I feel like in the morning when I wake up and I use this I my skin feels a lot more plump and just healthier so I really like this stuff. Here's a close-up if you want a screenshot and purchase for yourself as well. The next two things I got was the Skin Fix Triple Peptide, Triple Lipid Peptide Cream and the Triple Lipid Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic, wait, it's a Hyaluronic Serum. I don't know how you say that. It's like a different version of Hyaluronic. But anyways, um, this is the serum I use before the moisturizer. This stuff is insanely hydrating. Again, I need the most hydrating cream because the tretinoin that I'm using is drying out my skin so much. And I'm just waiting for that like 12 week mark where I can finally see some results. But right now I'm just dealing with a lot of dryness and a lot of acne, a lot of purging. Here's a close up of these two if you want to screenshot and purchase for yourself. The last thing that I got is the new Paradox Perfume by Prada. My boyfriend actually got this for me as a random gift. Um, and look how cool the packaging is. The stuff smells really great by the way guys. It just smells very cool and refreshing and just like you smell very clean. It's a clean girl scent. I love this stuff. So if you need a new scent, go get this one. That's all that I got. I'm going to run my errands and take you guys along with me now. And then we're gonna choose an outfit for tonight's dinner. Okay, hey guys, I have showered and blow dried my hair. Um, I also put on my self tanner. I use the Saint Tropez Express. So I only have to leave it on for about three hours. But while I wait for that to develop, I'm gonna go on the hunt for a clear memory jar. And I'm also going to go grab my favorite drink of this fall. Um, yeah, I'm going to put you guys on. It's literally the best drink in the world. And I feel like it's not something a lot of people get because it's so random. But let's go and get that. Also, I got a new phone. This is what it looks like. I'm totally doing this while driving. But um, it's the 14 iPhone 14 Pro Plus. And I've never had a plus before, like I've always had the smaller one. And it's because that I don't like working with a big phone um, and then I can't go on my phone with one hand. I have to use both hands because the screen's so big that you won't be able to reach the corner. But now that I got this, I realized, okay, this is so much better. I just feel like the other one was too tiny. And I found this hack where if you um, swipe down at the bottom of the screen it everything shifts down so that you can reach the corners um, easily I don't know if that makes sense but once I park I'm gonna show you guys for example I have reservations in my mail and if I just swipe down the entire screen shifts down so that you can reach the top um, it's probably the coolest hack ever but if I knew this sooner I would have gotten the max much sooner as well but yeah, you learn something new every single day. Might as well fill you guys in while I'm waiting, but if you guys don't know yet, I started my very own podcast, and this has been something that I've wanted to do for a while, and I just feel like podcasts are such a good way to communicate and provide value versus like YouTube and TikTok. It's more so entertainment, and like if I were to provide that same value through a YouTube video, really I would just be sitting down and talking to the camera. So 
you don't really have to be watching the video to get that same information. You could do it in a podcast and I feel like that's just much better because personally, when I listen to podcasts, I just go on a walk and pop my headphones in and zone out. But it's called Positive Proof and it's available on all platforms including Apple Podcasts and Spotify. I will leave the link down below so definitely check it out if you haven't yet. The first episode is out already. It is called How to Begin Your Personal Growth Journey and I feel like that's something that everyone can take something away from so that's what we started off with and I'm gonna be uploading weekly so stay tuned for that. I'm really excited for this journey and hopefully I will bring on guest speakers in the future. I think that would be quite interesting. But yeah, show your girl some love. If you do leave a review, by the way, you will get entered into the giveaway that I'm gonna be doing monthly. And if you share the podcast or episode via socials, then tag me at Parmas Najmi and Positive Proof Podcast, then that will be an extra, an extra entry into the giveaway. Time to introduce you to the best drink of this fall season. I got a white hot chocolate made with oat milk with a a apple cinnamon tea bag inside and good thing is, is that it's caffeine free so you can have this at any time of the day and I'm gonna do a taste test for you guys even though I know exactly what it tastes like oh my gosh it's like it tastes like a very creamy apple pie if that makes sense it's just phenomenal my goodness you guys have to try it and if you guys don't have a Tim's near you, I would try to recreate this drink at any other cafe that you can. Um, I mean, white hot chocolate is pretty common. So if you can also get a hold of an apple cinnamon tea bag and combine those two, you got yourself this phenomenal drink. Okay guys, I'm in Walmart and I found these mason jars, but I don't know how big to get them. So there's this one and then there's these bigger ones. I just don't know how tiny I'm gonna be crunching up the memory um, pieces of paper. So like, for example, I don't think I can fit that many in this one. Okay guys, this is what I decided on. It's a little bit cuter. Um, I just feel like it's more gift friendly. And I'll just crunch up the papers in a bigger way so it takes up more space, but I like this. Okay guys, I'm home now and I have stolen some of my brother's goodies to create this memory jar. I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse and we're gonna go ahead and power through this. Okay, hey guys, it is a few hours later. I finished writing the memory notes into the jar. I got ready. I tried to go for a matte look because it always ends up looking so shiny in photos but I'm very low on time, so I'm gonna quickly show you guys my outfit. I didn't even have time to show you guys the, the options that I had, so I just kind of threw something together, and it did turn out pretty cute. Okay, so here is the outfit. The top that I'm wearing is from Fashion Nova. It's a long sleeve bodysuit, and it's got this like chevron pattern. These leather leggings are the brand Spanx, and I got them from Honey, wearing my new Chanel bag, and then I'm gonna be wearing these Louis Vuitton heels. They've got like the Louis Vuitton detail on the side. And then I'm gonna be topping it off with the Zara coat. Okay, final look. Here are the heels, here's the coat, the bag. And we are ready to go. See you at dinner. Happy birthday. Thank you. Sir. We're at dinner now. Cheers. Okay guys, it's Sunday morning now and I just got back from a walk with my dog Chico. Um, I'm going to be headed downtown in 30 minutes so that I can get a workout in with the girls. It's going to be a yoga session today and I think we're going to do brunch after. But yeah, they're heading here right now so that we can all drive down together. Um, I'm going to wash off my tinted sunscreen and change into my gym clothes and I will take you guys along with me. Let's go.
Okay guys, I'm home now. I've showered. I've cleaned up a bit, but it was so, so much fun. I did brunch with the girls and we went to this restaurant um, called Earl's downtown. Um, and I've never been there for brunch, but it ended up being really good. We got mimosas and everything. I tried a watermelon mimosa for the first time and it was actually really, really good. My plan for the rest of the day is to Again, have a reset day. I guess Sundays for me are just like a work day slash reset day, minus the fun workouts that I do in the morning. Um, little side note, I'm using this Olaplex hair serum. This is the number nine, um, and I love it so much. It just makes your hair feel very soft. I'm gonna clean up. Oh, I have to reorganize my closet because it's fall now, which means I have to bring out the coats and everything, which I don't normally keep in the summertime in my closet. So I'll show you guys when I do that, but let's get ready first. So I did the number nine. Next, I'm going to mix number six and number seven, um, the products from Olaplex. This one's, there's so much hair in my hands. Oh my God. There, this is the bonding oil and this is the bond smoother. So I just take the slightest bit like that much and then I do a few drops of this oil and then do that and I focus it on my ends as they get most dry that is it now we go to blow dry okay guys I just finished doing my hair it's a little bit frizzy as it's clean but nothing a little bit of hair oil cannot fix but I'm feeling very fresh. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a closet clean out. Um, I have a second closet that I use to put away my winter clothes and fall clothes in the summertime. And then in the winter slash fall time, I took away my summer clothes. So I'm about to make that switch and I'm gonna show you guys what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna try to make it as organized as possible but I don't want my OCD to kick in because that just makes anything I wanna do 10 times more time consuming. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so as you can see, I have a pretty small closet and I have too many clothes. So it's a little bit of a challenge to fit everything and organize everything but we're gonna try our best. Okay, so welcome to my tiny closet. I did what I could. So I had my boots up there since last year and it's because I just have the space for those boots. Um, up there I have some cheaper heels and some Converse. And then we have my gym, gym shoes right here and some other sneakers back there. I have my yoga wear and my Nike wear for cycling. I have my weight training leggings, some sports hoodies, non-designer. And then here I have my going out top slash like basic tops. And then we get to the long sleeves right over here and some cardigans as well. And then moving down, we have some more sporty wear items, some designer hoodies back there, and some blazers for work. Over here, we have my most worn coats. So some pea coats, some long leather coats, trench coats. Um, we have a long vested puffer, and then we have a bunch of party dresses and gowns and stuff like that. Down there, I have my gym bag, and then I have some gym stuff, like foam roller, tennis racket, stuff like that. Back down here, I have a bunch of shackets and jean jackets and leather jackets, and then we get to the knit stuff. So I have a bunch of sleeveless knits and then long sleeve crop knits. I have a bunch of long sleeve turtlenecks and just thinner long sleeves. And then we get to the pants and the skirts. Um, I have two pants on each hanger, so that's why some of these are looking a little bit wonky. But yeah, these are all my pants, and then skirts are over here. I have my fall skirts. I've taken out my tennis skirts and put them in the other closet. And then down there I have my derma dry machine for my hyperhidrosis. But that is everything. Um, I keep a lot of my um, other accessories that are a little bit nicer, a little bit more expensive on this 
little two locks that I have right here. That is pretty much it. That is my little closet tour. And yeah, we're finally organized for fall. I'm already feeling so productive. I am gonna be heading to the cafe to get some work done. But yeah, I've been putting that off for the longest time. And I feel like when I clean out my closet or my room or just anything that requires organization, I feel so accomplished. <laughs> So yeah, we're off to a very good start and it's time to close out this weekend's vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos and if you have any feedback or any other requests for other videos, just let me know in the comments and yeah, I want to make what you guys want to see. So that's that. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye.